welcome back to fast track learning to c++ so in last lecture we have uh, learned about the destructor so now here we are going to learn a new topic that is file handling so let's uh, take an example that uh, what we did so far is that we are just uh, playing with uh, just our data so here uh, um, i want to store some name let's suppose uh, i want to store uh, the list of the entry for name who has subscribed for my channel. So, in a normal uh, program, so we are using a C out and C in, C out and C in to deal with our data. So now <clears throat> there are three things. The first is your standard input. Second is standard output, and third is a standard error. So the first one is your standard input that deals with your keyboard. Standard input deals with your keyboard. Okay, so now the second is your standard output is your screen. And your standard arrow is also screen. So we are using these streams. So these are the streams, whatever uh, we have learned so far about that C out and C in, the, these two are the stream. So standard output, standard output means you want to display something onto the screen. Whereas C in, that is, you are asking user for the input from a keyboard. So actually these two are your standard input and output mechanism. So there is a C E R R that is standard error. So that is the to display some error onto the screen. So now if I'm going to use this mechanism, I am dealing with the keyboard and screen so far. What if I want to rerun my program? So let's uh, see that uh, what will happen if I'm going to run the program again and again. So, you know, the previous data will be lost. So let's name our file. Let's a file underscore handling. Okay, here I hadn't implemented anything uh, regarding the file handling. So it says that enter your name to subscribe my channel. Uh, okay, fast track to learning to C++. So let's uh, Give my name, Aman, enter. Now, if I want to display something, display my name, C out. Welcome to, let's uh, copy this to save the time. Fast track to learning C++. Okay, so let's uh, give your name, welcome name hi and uh, give you tap button so now you can see whatever given from the keyboard so that just display on the screen now i can't have any access to that particular data so if i'm going to write aman hi aman so that is just for this screen only fine so if i'm going to close this screen i'm going to close this screen all the data is gone till now for the storage i had used the ram random access memory that is your hardware part and the ram is used to store any data related to the process fine. so now i'm going to store this data permanently so i'm going to use a file right so that uh, to use the file i'm going to include f s t r e a m file stream previously we have used input output stream that belongs to the standard input and standard output but here i'm using a file stream rather than working uh, with the keyboard and uh, display, I want to introduce a file for permanent storage. So now, uh, let's create a stream for 
the file. So now the matter of fact is that now let's suppose this is your file. So now two possibilities are there. Either I'm going to write something uh, something to the file or I'm going to read something from this file. So this is for the writing, this is for the reading. Fine. So now uh, let's suppose this is my program. Fine, this is just a program. Fine. So now I'm going to launch a stream from my program. So this is your program. Let's file dot c p t fine so this is my program so now i want to launch a stream so that it can take the data from a keyboard from a standard input but it's not going to display on the screen but rather than to the file fine. i'm going to write into the file so i need what this output file stream so i'm going to output the data not to the screen but to the file so here, uh, as I already use this file stream, now I, I can use that stream that is O F S T R E A M output file stream. Actually, so this is a class implementation in your file stream. So here I'm going to create the object of this file. Uh, let's suppose file out. You can take any name, any variable name. Okay, so here I just created a output file stream to output file stream. So now I just created, I declared a stream that this stream is going to deal with the data which is going to write onto the file. So now I'm going to use same stream f out dot open so I'm going to open this stream. So here I'm going to specify the file name. Let's suppose my data dot text. Now I just open a file stream. Now here I fetch the data from the user in a name variable. So now rather than displaying on the screen, I'm going to just store that name to my file. So I'm going to write instead of you, if I have to display on the screen, I should write C out name. So this is going to write onto the screen, but this time rather than using C out stream, I'm going to use my declared stream over here, fine. So here is the stream. So let's uh, run our program. So rather than displaying something onto the screen, now I'm going to save into the file. So now let's run our program and you can observe, look, recently a file is created where you have saved your CPP file. Okay, so this doesn't make, okay, so it's asking me to uh, give a name. So I have given a name. So rather than printing that thing onto the screen, so my data goes to this file. So you can see here I'm having a one data that is Aman. So now let's rerun our program. And now let's give some another name. Let's take a Raman. Enter. Now let's see what is in our file. So you can see the previous data is overwritten. So now the main purpose is null, not solved over here. So now what if if we are to you know, put your data after the previous data. So here I have used this stream to open the file. Now I can use some mods. So here I'm going to use IOS APP. So this is a mod. The second parameter is a mod that is IOS dot whatever you want to do. So here APP is append means put the data at the last, not Adding the, your previous data. So now let's uh, run the same program with this parameter, append parameter. And uh, now I'm going to give name. Okay, so let's see our file. So now you can see after Raman, 
I'm having the Aman. So now I want that thing onto the second line. So let's erase this data from here. I'm going to save this file. This is this file is now empty. So now C in uh, okay C out name and here normally what you did to create a end uh, end line you are using that thing over here. So now let's uh, give a name Aman. Fine. Okay, so now one thing to remember when you open a stream, you should close the stream. When you have to deal with some multiple files, so then it would be you know troublesome. So when you are done with your data, so just it's wiser to close your stream over here. Okay, so now uh, let's give some another name. Okay. Let's see the file. Oops. So now you can see you are arranging the name. So this is how you can write uh, something into the file. So in the next lecture, we are going to read the same file, but with a C++ program. Keep watching and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will get a latest update regarding my videos. Thanks for watching.